to today's laboratory session. So for uh, today's lab session, we have to uh, go on with an experiment to determine the particle size of uh, given powder using a diode laser. For that, we, don't, we need to have a laser source, a screen, a slide which consists of lycopodium powder. We are going to find out the particle size of this lycopodium powder. It is a finely uh, grinded uh, powder. And uh, we do want to have two glass plates, two plain glass plates, between which we will be sprinkling this finely ground lycopodium powder. So this is the formula to be used. The particle size A is equal to 0.61 lambda D by R. This lambda represents wavelength of the laser source that is used. D represents the distance between the lycopodium slide and the screen. And this R represents uh, the diameter of the first order dark ring. Right? So uh, this is uh, the lycopodium glass slide. Uh, it is nothing but two uh, plain glass plates between which some lycopodium finely grounded lycopodium powder is sprinkled. Now we can keep this lycopodium slide over a stand here. This is the stand which is used to keep the lycopodium uh, powder slide and here we do have a laser source and uh, this is the screen on which you do have a graph sheet on it. Now uh, you keep the laser source at a constant distance from the screen and now you need to move this uh, lycopodium slide as you can see here when the laser light falls on this lycopodium slide due to the presence of that finely grinded particles you will be having some diffraction and due to the diffraction uh, a circular alternative bright and dark fringes will be seen on the screen. Now you need to change the distance between the screen and the lycopodium powder. There uh, you do have a meter scale to measure the distance between the screen and uh, this lycopodium slide. So you need to measure the distance at this point on the lycopodium slide. So now let me keep the distance to 8 centimeter. Now the lycopodium powder slide is adjusted to be at 8 centimeter from the screen. Uh, you need to measure what is the diameter of this first diameter of this first order dark ring right we do have a first order dark ring here you need to measure what is the diameter using this graph itself right you no, no need to use a uh, separate scale for it you can use the graph sheet itself uh, check here from uh, this point from this point to this point it will be equal to 1 centimeter and uh, each of this 1 centimeter will be divided into 10 millimeters so uh, making reference of uh, a particular point, a particular line on y-axis and x-axis, you can uh, measure what is the diameter of the first order dark ring. Right? Now you can see here, let me uh, change the distance between the lycopodium slide and the screen. You can see the change in the diameter. See, I am just increasing the distance between screen and uh, lycopodium slide you can see the increase in the diameter right so if I decrease the distance the diameter decreases and if I increase the distance the diameter increases so you need to keep this lycopodium slide at five different distances from the screen and you need to measure what is the diameter of the first order dark ring that is the experiment you need to do and uh, for calculation purpose the formula is A is equal to 0 0.61 lambda D by R and this is the tabulation for which uh, uh, you are going to use the observed uh, readings. So this is a serial number, you need to put 5 serial numbers. Keep the, uh, this D represents the distance between the lycopodium slide and the screen. You keep the slide, lycopodium slide at 5 different distances from the screen and you try to measure what is the diameter of the first order dark ring. This will give you the value of 2R. If you want to know the radius of the first order dark ring, you need to divide this 2R by 2 so that you get this uh, radius. This is diameter, so it is 2R. If you divide this value by 2, you will be getting the radius. And uh, you can uh, find the radius of the microparticle A using this formula. A is equal to 0 0.61 lambda d by r. The value of this lambda can be taken as 6000 Armstrong units. So 0 0.61 into 6000 into 10 power minus 10 into the value of uh, uh, d, right? This is the distance between the lycopodium slide and the screen. That is the value of this d and uh, divided by r. r is given by this uh, third column. 
so you can use the value of this d and the value of r in this formula to calculate what is the particle size of the given uh, lycopodium powder right in similar way you can find the particle size of any given powder by sprinkling it in between two glass plates and keeping the glass plate on the uh, a stand before the source laser source if laser source if the light from the laser source is made to fall on the uh, powder sprinkled glass plates you will be getting diffraction pattern on the screen by measuring the distance or by measuring the diameter of the first order dark ring you will you will be able to calculate what is the particle size so i hope it is very uh, easy experiment and you can use it in no time and you can uh, complete it in no time thank you